All Things Cool in Jacksonville, a local show with a spotlight on the 904 with hosts Eden Candle and Mark Payton, featuring amazing stories from every neighborhood with Rance Adams. This is River City Live. Hey, good morning. Welcome to River City Live. We're here at the Avenues Mall as usual, but here's something different. It's a new month. It's March. Already? Isn't that crazy? To me, usually January and February, just they go by so slow. Not this year. I can't believe we're already in March. Already? We must be feeling it because we've all got our spring colors on. Yeah, I know. Our, our, uh, our spring colors on. <laughs> well, <laughs> two of us, too. Yeah. Okay, so, so the thing is that you are uh, looking at a day where a lot of people have missed a birthday. Yeah. March 1st, I always feel sorry for the people who were born on that leap year that they got to, they missed their birthday, but then they're younger for it. So that's nice. We had somebody on yesterday. His son was one years old, right? <laughs> and exactly. that's what he said. Is yeah. it that leap year birthday? Okay. We've, uh, we've talked about this before, cutting the cord. When I say cutting the cord, I'm talking about things like Netflix, Hulu, so that you don't have to have cable. You literally disconnect from all of these big companies, and you just kind of use your internet to get all your TV viewing, yeah. and that's about to get even more. That's like such a trend right now, and I'm a late adapter to that. I don't know about you guys. You know, you're kind of into Netflix and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I'm totally yeah. into it, but yeah, I still have everything else. Well, it's the millennials that really bought into right. it. They don't want to pay for the service. They only watch certain channels. I can't believe so many people like, uh, I don't have a TV or I don't have satellite. But uh, for those that are into cord cutting, a lot of people don't want to do it because they want their local channels and a few other aspects. But YouTube is giving you that opportunity. They're going to have a new monthly subscription service for only $35 a month. Okay, that but what do you get? YouTube videos, oh, or is it more? No, you're going to get to watch all your regular shows, ABC, CBS, yeah. Fox, NBC, Bravo, FX, as well as Hulu, Netflix, and all of the things that you're already plugged it's into. It's so smart really? what they're doing, too, this whole business model. I mean, Google's kind of taking over the world, if you will, and they're already an Internet provider, and now they're just making it one step further in your house by providing you with TV. So it's basically like your cable, but you don't have it on your television? Or can you have it on your TV? Oh, yeah. You'll just end up straight. Well, a lot of the smart TVs now right. already oh have a YouTube on, on it, and you're usually okay. plugged into the Internet. As long as you have Internet access, you're plugged right. into it's, the yeah, Matrix. Google Chromecast is what you need, so you either have to upload that, or some TVs are already equipped with that. TVs yeah. now are really computers when you go right. around. As long as we're on it. Yeah, you got to make well, sure. As long as we get on there, too. Somehow you can still watch us, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> then I say go for it. Yeah. It's not here yet in our market, but I know that when it does come, we'll have to make that be the first test, right? You know, March isn't one of those holidays or months with a lot of holidays that require you to shop. So a lot of times you don't think about the fact that there are things you can save money on, but there actually are. Yeah, so we have a list of the top things to buy in March. And it's kind of like what you said. There's kind of a holiday hangover, if you will. There's a lot of good sales for the holiday seasons. And then January, there's a lot of things on sales. But now it's March, so it's after Valentine's Day. So really, what do you buy? Well, here's what you buy. So start out with frozen food. March is actually National Frozen Food Month. What? And there's a lot of sales on frozen food. So now's the time to stock up because you can just put it in your freezer and you're good to go for a long time. Did you guys know that? I did, I did know that. Yeah. You knew that? That it was Frozen Food Month. Yeah, there, there always seem to be all of these advertisements for it. So over the years, I've always paid attention to that. It doesn't mean I was smart enough to go out and stock up. It just right. means I noticed it. I got to get a deep freeze. That would make it worthwhile for me. But my That's little true. freezer, no. Nah. And then um, box chocolates. Obviously, Valentine's Day happened a couple weeks ago, so no one's yeah. buying chocolate right now. So stock up on box chocolates. That seems like Can I a save it for next year? That sounds like a no-brainer, And really. then let's switch gears and things to buy. Exercise equipment. So you stocked up on your chocolates. Now let's go buy some exercise equipment. If you think about it, there's a lot of sales for the holidays, and especially with New Year's resolutions, right? Well, then in February, the prices start to creep up a little bit, and now there's a surplus of people that, you know, didn't buy yeah. or they're exchanging their gifts, so that's a good thing to buy. Um, here's something not to buy. Don't buy a new car, because if you think about it, all the old models are gone, so it's just new models, so you're not going to get that good deal on uh, 2016 anymore because it's all 2017. Uh, right. Abs um, absolutely. And then here's another thing not to buy, smartphones. The new models and smartphones will be coming out in the next couple of months, so don't waste your money on you know, the, the older models. Hold on to what you have now. Tape up that screen. Do what you can for the next couple of months. And he, well, here's why, though. You might be saying, but Mark, I don't need the newest model. 
But the thing is, when the new model comes out, the model you have, the price goes down. So it is even if you don't yeah. want the new model worth that's a, waiting that's a really good point. until the new ones come out. And right? then the last thing not to buy, spring fashion. I know we're in the middle of the mall and everybody's like, <gasps> but it's the truth. Don't buy anything right now for spring fashion because in two months, all that stuff's going to be on sale. I love yeah. a bargain. Yeah, it's true. Exactly. And when you can get uh, up north during the seasons and do shopping when, for example, nobody's buying spring fashions because it's winter, it's great. I know I have family in Connecticut and when I visit, I'm always like, let's hit the mall because I know your stuff's on sale. On opposite, we want a new patio furniture like out here and that never really goes on sale. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't go on sale so here. My wife and I, we, we just learned that. Uh, at all. all <laughs> right, Is there so, not a season for it? <laughs> not at all. So now that we've told you how to save some cash, you should have plenty left over to give away, right? Well, how about giving to charity just when you're really ticked off? Does that not sound like the way it usually works? Well, there is an app that takes advantage of your being angry. And pretty much uh, social media is what they're thinking is ticking people off the most these days. So here's what happens when you go to Trigger. Trigger is the app and the website where you will input all of your financial information so they can debit you when you are so moved, right? And then you are, say, scrolling through your social media and something ticks you off and you want to make a statement. You're so mad about what somebody says, you want to give to the charity that they oppose or just something to prove your point. So you will tag the charity and then do hashtag trigger give. Okay. Now, trigger will then give you a 24-hour cooling off period and then <laughs> automatically take the money from your account and give it to the charity. That so was just, what I was going to ask about. Yeah, because they've got your information. So right. as soon as hashtag trigger give comes up, you've basically authorized them to take the money out of your account. So if you're, if you're suggesting, you know, I'm against anybody wearing blue outfits, I can get so mad I'm going to give to the Blue Outfit Foundation <laughs> and, it, and call it a trigger give. But I do have 24 hours to cool my jets in case I said, I'm going to give a $1,000, Lance. I, I, I feel like they should not have that cooling off period. You know, be passionate about yeah, that. That's Send true. it out there and have it go to a charity, right? <laughs> that's a Maybe good so. lesson for people, though. I like the name, too, Trigger. It is. It's, it's